Precious samples collected from an asteroid are to be moved to a specialist laboratory in Texas in the next few hours. The material, taken from what's been described as the most dangerous rock in our solar system, came down to Earth in Utah in a NASA spacecraft. Scientists are hoping the samples will provide some answers about how life began more than four billion years ago. Our science editor, Rebecca Morrell, reports from Utah. The FRC has entered the Earth's atmosphere. A first glimpse of the capsule after its epic journey through space. We have confirmed parachute deployment. High up in the atmosphere, a parachute opens, slowing its descent. Touchdown. I repeat, EDL. FRC has touched down. A textbook landing in the middle of the Utah desert. For Dante Loretta, the lead scientist who spent decades working on the Osiris Rex mission, it was an emotional moment. I was fortunate enough to be one of the first people to lay eyes on the capsule, and boy, w did we stick that landing. It was just sitting right there, uh, you know, a few tens of feet right off a nice road, perfect place for the helicopters to land. Didn't move, it didn't roll, didn't bounce. Uh, it just made a tiny little divot in the Utah soil. So for the environmental sampling team, that was great. We had to sample the area right where the capsule landed. We picked up some background sample soils just for understanding the native environment, some dust samples and gas samples to see if anything was coming out of the capsule. We don't think so because the safety engineers were the first ones on the scene. We actually couldn't approach it until they cleared it for human safety reasons. And I can't say I'm, I couldn't be more proud. And just to remind you, not only did we bring this mission in on schedule, under budget, and delivered more science than we had even thought was possible with the en encounter with Bennu, but we think we've got a lot of sample in that, in that science canister. A quick knock to say they've arrived and the capsule is in. And the painstaking and meticulous process to prepare it for opening begins. The whole procedure will take weeks. They're processing the capsule, removing portions of the um, uh, canister so that they can get a uh, continuous flow of nitrogen. So why go to all of this effort? Bennu tops the list of NASA's most hazardous space rocks, so studying its makeup could help us to stop it if we ever need to. But it could also reveal more about our origins. It's a perfectly preserved relic from the dawn of the solar system. It's going to keep scientists busy for a long time. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News, Utah. More on the story on the website from Rebecca and the rest of our science and space team as well. So do log on and take a look.